This sort of thing may look like the shrimp version of the Terminator, but it's actually a three channel synth that you can control with MIDI and it enables you to create arcadey sounds like this. It uses the YM2149 sound chip, something you might have heard before in the Atari ST. Now this was licensed from General Instruments in the 80s. General Instruments had already used an earlier version of this chip in countless arcade games, pinball machines and um, home computers such as the ZX Spectrum. In recent years, chiptune musician Trash80 has designed and coded this synth and you can find it online on the Catskill Electronics Store. The YM2149 synth simply plugs into the USB port of your computer and it will automatically recognize it as an audio device that you can send MIDI notes and data to. You can play three sounds at once on the device and they are mapped to MIDI's channel one to three. Uh, two are panned left, one is panned right. This is what it sounds like straight from the device. And here is a drum track. For a more modern polish sound, I like recording each track separately, layering them up, mixing them separately, panning them the way I like in my um, digital audio workstation. edit sounds on the synth you need to be able to send MIDI CC to it from whatever software or hardware you're using. I covered this briefly in my last uh, video which was about the Gen MDM which enables you to control the Sega Mega Drive but there'll be plenty of uh, videos and information online for whatever device you're using so you, that you know how to send MIDI CC. There are eight kinds of sounds that you can select and edit. You have your standard square, triangle, saw and noise sounds. You can also access sounds that play both square and either saw or triangle at the same time. This is interesting as you are able to detune the square wave to create, say, a two note chord. Finally, you can also play the square wave alongside what's described in the manual as a soft wave sound. This sounds like another square wave that utilizes pulse width modulation to get some chorus like effects. You can also play with the pitch modulation of one of the waves of this sound too. So you can edit the sounds using CC by looking at the manual which is linked to from the Catskull Electronics site where you can pick these up. It's not actually that long and it's not that complicated, this is quite a simple synth but it's, um, it's very authentic, you can get some really good arcade style sounds from it. It's easy to change the volume envelope, the glide of the sounds easily. And the vibrato. One of my favourite things to do with it is to mess around with the pitch envelope because you can get these really acid sounds, definitely video gamey. Also, I found that if you go below low C on any track, there's some nice preset percussion sounds and blips which I've found useful. You can also save and recall up to 15 presets on this, which of course is really useful. One cool way to do this is to use an online application created by the chiptune musician 2AA. You just load a patch number, tweak it to what you want and save your sound to the same patch number or any of the others. It's a really, really good online editor. It's really intuitive and it saves you having to look at the, uh, the, the manual again and again for the different CC numbers. I've got to offer one small disclaimer. I couldn't get it to work on my Windows devices, which it, they could be mine because um, to be granted one is out of date. I did get it to work on an Android um, tablet and, uh, and a Chromebook. It worked perfectly on both of those. Let's have a quick look at what kind of sounds you can make using the editor quite quickly.
this synth is currently USB only. Uh, I had this uh, desire when I got it to want to control it with my Game Boy Advance with LSDJ running in MIDI out mode, which is what I use for most of my stuff. And I'm going to continue experimenting with that because how brilliant would it be to use the four channels of a Game Boy alongside um, the three channels of this with the bass and the percussion and lead sounds. It'd be absolutely amazing. At the moment, there's actually a version of this in development, and that should make it easier. So I believe this dream could become a reality, and this is a secret weapon in a lot of chiptune musicians' arsenals, alongside, of course, people that do synthwave and, um, and other electronic music with a uh, retro flavour. So in summary, the YM2149 synth. It's, uh, it's portable, um, it's authentic, you can get really good arcade-style sounds from it. Um, it's uh, got, really got... I, I really like the bass on it, you get some really beefy sounds from it. It's uh, like you can vibrate your house pretty much if you uh, if you get go down low on them. Um, I really like it. It's uh, it's it's something that I'm definitely going to be using in in my own recordings. I um, I hope to uh, to get it to work with my live sets as I as I mentioned as well because that would be that would be incredible. So uh, watch this space. Hopefully I'll be able to, to sort that out.